Sego! Welcome to our review series of Miraculous Ladybug Season 5. In this video, we'll all be reviewing Episode 106, Multiplication the Mass Miraculous Mulo. Now then, let's get started! Ah, spoiler alert! At sunset, the rooftops of the Jardins du Trocadero Ladybug watches the TVI channel broadcast on her yo-yo about the heroes being defeated by Shadow Moth in Strike Back. Ladybug zooms in on Flare Mittable from a recording to show it to Cat Noir, note mentioning that although she thought it had been given, she had given Adrian the dog miraculous, she did not know it was actually Felix. Just as Ladybug goes on the internet to search for more information about Felix, a furious Su Han appears, as Ladybug had lost all the miraculous, therefore failing as a guardian. In Hawk Moth's lair, Monarch D transforms back to his civilian self, and he tells the helplessly terrified Kwamis that Fluff is now in the possession of Bunnix, but assures them that he still has plans in store for the rest of them. Meanwhile, Ladybug and Cat Noir argue back against Su Han, accusing him of not trusting them enough. This causes Suhan to break down and apologize, as him being distracted by the modern world has caused him to fail guiding the duo. Ladybug assures him that everyone makes mistakes, but Suhan decides to head back to the temple to get reinforcements. Ladybug and Cat Noir decide to track down Felix by eating their space power-ups, transforming, transforming into Cosmobug and Astro Cat, respectively. Whilst traveling, Cosmobug visits Felix's wiki page to find more info on him. As it turns out, he was the son of an American billionaire named Colt Fathom. In the evening, they encounter Felix's apartment in London and speak to Emilia Graham de Vanilli about her son's whereabouts. Emilia claims that her son was not at home when she woke up because Felix was supposed to go to Adrian's house. But she thanks the heroes for their help. As they are about to go back to Paris, Cosmobug asks Astrocat if he thinks Felix could have been a victim of Monarch. And Astrocat replies that he is uncertain. A crustfallen Cosmobug says Felix was their only lead on getting back the Miraculous. In Paris, Cosmobug D transforms back into Marinette in the sewers and gives Tiki a macaroon and goes back to her room, having memories of the Kwamis roaming around her room. She sadly puts her sewing box with a miracle box inside away in her chest drawer. After giving Tiki a reassuring smile, she eventually calls Alia to invite her for a sleepover. Astrocat D transforms into Adrian in his bathroom, giving Plague a piece of cheese, and then has an envisioned memory of Felix telling him that they were going to dress up as each other like they did when they were younger. Adrian, realizing that he should have taken Marinette's advice of standing up to his father instead of agreeing with Felix, he goes to Gabriel's atelier to tell Gabriel that he doesn't want to be a model anymore firmly. Gabriel, despite being busy, accepts this with no worry whatsoever, causing a disbelieved Adrian to let him be. During their sleepover, Marinette tells Alia about everything that had to happen. And Alia tries to reassure her, but Marinette believes that this is all her fault, declaring that she will ha have to try to stop loving Adrian because he distracts her from doing her duty. And she has to stop now more than ever. Just then, Adrian suddenly video calls Marinette, who is afraid of answering. So Alia go picks up the phone instead. Marinette tells Alia to tell Adrian that she's not here. But when Adrian informs Alia that his father just let him stop being a model, an overjoyed Marinette grabs the phone to congratulate him. The call ends with a Adrian admitting that he really appreciates everything Marinette has done for him ever since he started school. 
Before he goes to bed, Adrian realizes how special Marinette truly is. Later, Gabriel looks out from his office window and he sees that Natalie has returned from the train. Although the two do not directly interact with each other due to their fallout, shortly after Natalie goes to check on Adrian, who is already fast asleep and grinning at him, she walks out of his room. The next day, a college Francois Dupont, Alim Cubdell, comes to Miss Bustier's class to announce that Ladybug has authorized him to say that his daughter, Alex, has been chosen to be Bunnix. She will be traveling back in time to protect her miraculous and will return once the monarch is defeated. An evidently pregnant Miss Bastier assures everyone that not everyone needs to be a superhero to support Ladybug and Cat Noir in these hard times. But Mylene expresses her fear of Monarch, and even Max states that Monarch has 78.95% of the miraculous and it's unknown if he's going to win. Yvonne promises to protect Mylene, and that she may get past her fears by doing yoga. However, Chloe argues that because Ladybug and Cat Noir won't just give up their miraculous already, they're already putting everyone in danger. And she could have and that she could have helped him if she was still Queen Bee, but Lila dejects this, mentioning that everyone makes mistakes and the young ladybug, who has many burdens and responsibilities, should be forgiven for theirs. The entire class agrees to support Ladybug. A montage showcases the events of the next few weeks. To resist Monarch's reign, Mylene teaches her own yoga class, Nora teaches it, Alia and Nino how to defend for themselves, and Ladybug and Cat Noir do various patrols. However, disinterest increasingly grows as no acclimatization occurs. Less and less people attend yoga class, with only Ivan eventually being the only person to attend. Nora and her standees play video games instead. Ladybug and Cat Noir even pass their patrol times with card games. During all of this, Adrian grows more affectionate towards Marinette, attempting to kiss her whenever they meet at school. Marinette, still trying to grow out of her crush on Adrian, rejects these kissing attempts, though offering handshakes, irritating Alia and Nino. Meanwhile, Adrian gro grows suspicious of his father seemingly allying closer with Tomoe Tsurugi. In an unknown tech scanning place, Gabrielle handles an operation in which Adrian and Lila take turns standing in the middle of the room, lifting their arms for, for the scanning machine to process them. A few days later, when Adrian tries to kiss Marinette again with Alia's help this time, Ikari goes and appears at Francois Dupont, claiming that she wants to destroy the old Paris and create a new city. Marinette and Adrian hide in an alleyway and metro station respectively to transform. Marinette, who is still shaken from losing her miraculous, is motivated by Alia and later Tiki, with Tiki assuring her not to let doubt get to her. Ladybug and Cat Noir begin to battle against Ikari Gozen to no success. On the rooftops, Ladybug tells Cat Noir that not only his cataclysm can destroy Ikari Gozen's acclimatized object, her sword, but Cat Noir can't reach her because she is too fast. Unexpectedly, Ikari Gozen uses the power of multitude to multiply herself into 12 clones to fight Ladybug and Cat Noir. The now jokingly dubbed Ikari Dozen she destroys countless buildings and even the Eiffel Tower. Ladybug deduces that Ikari Gozen must have the mouse Miraculous, and the duo aim to get that Miraculous back next. Summoning her lucky charm, Ladybug gets a fishing rod. She lures the clones to the school where Ikari Gozen thrusts her sword into a window, causing it to get stuck in a room. Cat Noir cataclysms the sword, and it gets destroyed, releasing the Megakuma which Ladybug captures and purifies. When Tomoe is de Ladybug and Cat Noir ask her if she has the Mouse Miraculous, but it turns out she does not. As she and Cat Noir are about to detransform, Ladybug restores the damage with her Miraculous Ladybug and gives Tomoe a magical charm. While driving away in Tatsu, Tomoe, via a smart ring, tells Gabrielle that the prototype worked. At a tech conference, Gabriel makes an announcement of his latest creation, Smart Rings Called Alliance. As it turns out, Adrian and Lila are the ring's virtual assistants. This is the reason why Gabriel has scanned them, 
to effectively relive Adrian of his modeling career. The rings are also include Akuma alerts created by Tomoe. Adrian, Gabriel, Lila, and Tomoe are congratulated on stage for their participations. In a post end credit scene, in a post end card scene in their home in London, Amelia Kick knocks up on a bedroom door to tell someone that it is tea time. Said person is Felix, and Amelia assures Felix not to worry, claiming she'll protect him from those who think he is a villain after his mother leaves. Felix wears the peacock miraculous, and Dusu appears, asking where Natalie is, and Felix at, and Felix if he is his new holder. Felix claims he is much more than that. Did you know that? Internationally, this episode first premiered in Brazil on Glue. The episode shares its name with the concept of the mouse miraculous. This is the second time Tomoe gets acclimatized into Ikari Gozen, following Ikari Gozen. This episode shows normal transformation sequences of Ladybug and Cat Noir the fir for the first time in Season 5. It's revealed that both Marinette and Adrian feel guilty over what happened in Risk and Strike Back. This episode contains flashbacks to previous episodes' events from Gamers, Style Queen, Gorizilla, and The Puppeteer 2. This is a fourth appearance of Suhan after Furious Fu, Evermal, and Strike Back. And some details can be detached from the article about Felix on the Wikipedia copy shown on Ladybug's Yo-Yo. The first half of the episode occurs on the same day as most of Risk and the total duration of Strike Back and Evolution. Before Su Han arrives, Ladybug mentions that they should use Super Speed, which probably suggests one of the miraculous potions grants speed powers. It's revealed that Suhan didn't help Marinette as with her duty as a guardian because he let himself be distracted by the modern world. It's revealed that Felix's last name is Fathom, and that his father is Cole Fathom, an American billionaire. It's revealed that the Grande Vanilli family is part of the British aristocracy, with Emily having the noble title of Lady. This is the eighth episode that takes place outside of Paris. And despite Emily telling Ladybug and Cat Noir that she doesn't know where her son is at the beginning of the episode, it's revealed at the post ink card scene that she lied to them. Felix had returned home, yet she was doing her best to protect her son from the superheroes who think he is a villain. Adrian finally tells his father that he doesn't want to be a model anymore, concluding a mini arc established in Wishmaker and Risk. Adrian starts to realize how special Marinette is true to him. Natalie returns to the Ogress Mansion, but it's unknown if she still lives there or works for Gabriel. But in having in consideration with her absence during the time skip, it's possible that she had moved out and completely resigned her job as Gabriel's assistant. And to justify Alex's absence, her father, Alim, with Ladybug's permission, reveals her class in teachers that she had become the superhero Bunnix to protect a rabbit miraculous, and that she will return once Monarch is defeated. Also, as in this episode, Miss Bastier is seen in an advanced pregnancy state, therefore officially connecting the series with a miraculous New York special. Her first scene in the montage is which the camera sits up to Ladybug and Tech Cat Noir at the top of the Eiffel Tower is a reanimated version of Marinette on top of the Eiffel Tower at the very beginning of the series intro and it shows the Parisians doing their best to cope with Monarch's threats. This episode is the biggest time cap within a montage, as weeks pass since the day Gabriel obtained all the miraculous in Ladybug's Miracle Box until the day Tomoe's re of into Ikari goes in. So Ladybug's lucky charm object in this episode is being a fishing rod was lightly foreshadowed in the scene where, in which she and Cat Noir play cards specifically go fish, and it's revealed that Tomoe Tsurugi has become an ally of Monarch and that she helped him create technological rings that allow Monarch to transfer powers of the miraculous to his acclimatized villains who wears them, with herself seeing as a test subject. These same rings are later released for public disposal. This is the first appearance of the Magic Charms, and this is the fifth appearance of the Space Power-Ups. Felix wears the Peacock Miraculous for the first time, meeting Dusu formally. In Ladybug's transformation sequence, her hair has been re-edited to look darker. 
This is the third episode where Adrian wears his pajamas, and this is the tenth episode in which heroes use ear communicators. And this is the sixth episode that features a post credit scene. And this scene, where Monarch D transforms resemble Hawknoth's identity reveal. Not counting scenes in episodes which don't have end cards, this is one of the three episodes to have an end card in which Marinette doesn't appear. As of this episode, like Adrian, in Onichan, but I like Monarch. Marinette too got what she wanted, but wasn't happy about how it happened in terms of Alex becoming Bunnix. Ikari goes in is the first villain which Ladybug and Cat Noir originally fought with an ally, but fought alone when they were re acclimatized. Now you know! We give Miraculous Multiplication a 2.9 out of 5, and this episode's rating is a 6 out of 10. Thank you so much for watching, everyone! What do you think? If you appreciate it, please be sure to super smash that like button, and be sure to follow my social media platforms in the description below, and in the Team Live Lights fandom channels. Please be sure to leave a comment below, and please give us your open-minded thoughts, because we here at Team Life Lights Fandubs do not condone harassment, violence, or trolls aloud or otherwise, Red Hoek from Comedy Central's <laughs> Running Stimpy Show will haunt you down till the ends of the Shadow World. Please be sure to subscribe to our videos and click the notification bell. You'll never miss a video the second it goes live on YouTube and Google. With that being said, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye <laughs>